how much design does a front end developer need to know? This is something that I thought about a lot when I was learning how to code. And I remember really focusing a lot about learning like design trends and some of the things that were popular at the time when I was learning how to code and trying to at least make myself familiar with things that were popular and make myself familiar with a little bit of design because I was focusing on front end development. I thought it was really important for me to understand design. I really wanted to make my portfolios look good and in order to have good looking portfolios and have something that looks new and trendy and is appealing to potential employers is really important and you can't do that without design. You know, you can implement a lot of stuff on the front end but if you just try to make it on your own without looking at any designs or anything for reference then you would, you'll probably end up with something that looks really ugly or you'll have like Frankenstein's monster because you'll basically take a lot of different stuff from different sites and then try to just all throw it on your page and hope that it looks good. And I remember when I was first starting out that I thought my stuff looked good and it looked terrible but at the time it was the best that I could do and it looked good for my skill level but the truth was is that it was crappy and that's what kind of led me to making this video if you want to be a front-end developer you do need to have some concepts of design and you need to have a little bit of UI UX knowledge but the truth is, is that you don't need that much design when you're a front-end developer and when you do it professionally many front-end developers don't do a lot of design work, but they know enough to be able to point out bad designs. And I would say that it's more important to understand good user experience versus good aesthetically pleasing design or UI implementation because at the end of the day, if it looks good, but your users can't use it, then it doesn't really matter. And I know that that used to be a big thing a few years back when a lot of people that would do web design weren't really designing things for the internet. They were designing things that look good. And you would always hear about like designers and developers fighting over like stuff that looked good versus like what you can actually do on a web page. And now that's changed a bit because there is a lot more design that's focused for web development and for user interfaces and for user experience, but it still happens where you may not have a good design implemented on the front end and it hurts the user experience. So that's where I feel that if you're trying to become a front end developer and you want to focus on how you can implement better front end designs, don't worry so much about making things look pretty. Try to think more about how you can make things work well for a user when you're trying to be a front-end developer. And the truth is I wouldn't recommend going down a big rabbit hole of trying to like learn web design if you just want to become a front-end developer. Learn enough to be able to go look at other designs that you think are good and implement them in your own applications. I think it was Picasso that said it that good artists copy, great artists steal. And honestly, that's what you should be doing if you're trying to be a front-end developer and you're worried about not knowing enough design is go on Behance, go on awards.com, go on different websites where people share their designs and their work and find things that you think look good and then implement them in your own style you know even copy them copy them straight up and then change them to work in the application that you're trying to build or in the interface that you're trying to build as a front end developer and don't worry so much about design yes it's good to know design when you're trying to become a front end developer it's not going to hurt to know those things it's obviously going to help you in the hiring process but at the end of the day front end developers don't need to know that much about design and when you're first starting out you're already dealing with information overload you're already dealing with having to learn so many things that having to learn design is just going to be another added thing that might stress you out so i would just suggest learning how to implement good designs and then by building things you'll start naturally finding your own style and, and honestly just the more that you do this the better you'll get at it and my designs and my front end implementations when I was learning how to code were god awful they were terrible and now I feel like I'm halfway decent at my job I'm technically a UI UX developer a good portion of my work goes towards design and I still don't consider myself a designer I feel that I could come up with a decent design probably better than most front end developers because I have done a little bit more design work in my career as a developer and that's just the route that I've taken but the truth is that I would be just fine if I never had to do any design because I know enough front-end development where I can take a design and implement it and at the end of the day that's what's really important as a front-end developer is being able to take a design being able to take a wireframe being able to take a mock and implement it using HTML and CSS and hooking it up with JavaScript or whatever framework that you're using that's really what you you need to know as a front-end developer. You don't need to know design, you just need to know how to implement them in code and make them work 
on the front end. And if you really want to make your projects look better, take that extra time to learn some design. There's plenty of YouTubers out there, there's plenty of websites that can teach you enough to get by. And at the end of the day, I really think that's about as much design as a front-end developer needs. It's just enough to get by because front-end developers aren't designers and designers aren't front-end developers, although they kind of blend sometimes the roles are completely different and the tools that they use on a regular basis are different. And even though some designers may work with a little bit of HTML and CSS, and even though some front end developers might work with Figma or Basomic or mocking tools like that, at the end of the day, those roles are separate unless you're in a position like me where they kind of do combine a bit. And then you might need to know more design but if you're focusing on becoming a front-end developer, learn your HTML, learn your CSS, learn your JavaScript, learn your framework, and focus on learning good user experience principles, and you'll be fine. You don't need a bunch of design, and you don't need to be an artist to be a front-end developer. You just need to be able to imitate art and make it work on a web page. All right, with all that said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below with your thoughts on how much design you need to know to be a front-end developer, and let me know what you think about my opinions here. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.